Talk about this, this season was season long arc. You know, the, the, the feats that you wanted to explore, the, direct, the journey you wanted to you know, take. Well, where we left off at, um, in the finale, we saw Kara having to make a very painful hero's choice to save the Earth and send the love of her life off to space, and that was devastating. And so when we pick up season three, we're going to start from that emotional place of Kara, um, you know, reeling from the loss, and we're going to examine the question of what does it mean to be human, especially for Kara, but for all the characters as a superhero. Is there a space when you have to be a hero and save the world? Is there a space to be heartbroken and, and grieving and all of those things? And at the beginning of this year, she was going to throw herself more into her work and kind of put Kara Danvers to the side. Is it tough when you do a show like this where, you know, it's so often beloved because it's joyful and upbeat and optimistic and hopeful, you know, is it tough having to take a dramatic arc like this where she does, where she is grieving, you know, and is it hard to balance it with those elements and not, and not let it get dragged down by the arms? Well, today? it's growth. She's growing up, you know? But, uh, no, I mean, I think we're, we like to tell stories that are true to the characters and that are honest, and so I think that we do try and balance you know, even though she's in a darker place emotionally, there's still the humor, you know, even when which is true to life, so we try and have fun. And, uh, it definitely won't be a down. And then there's Kat Grant, who's going to be in the premiere, so, you know, yeah, you're always going to have you. a lot of, um, Thanks for a lot of levity. Yeah. What did you say? Thanks for the spoilage. <laughs> you're so welcome. <laughs> What kind of coordination goes between doing the crossover episodes? Well, I mean, it's fair. I mean, it's a big it's effort that all the shows participate in, and it's kind of a it's a, it's a daunting, but you know, everybody's game, and it's been much easier since we've been up in Vancouver with everybody. But you know, it's it's managing the show because the shows will shoot their episodes while they're shooting the crossover sets. And all of the writing staffs are in the same building in Burbank, so we're all we're all together. So what's the best part about running a CW show? Oh, that it's awesome. Hanging out with Robert. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's a fantasy. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, great to be able to write for these iconic characters and to be part of uh, a show that is able to um, kind of be a character that's a role model, but also a show that's able to talk about interesting issues and be uh, on the forefront of kind of uh, a dialogue that I think all of us need right now. And so that's great. And also, it's awesome to work with all the special effects and do all the cool stuff that we're able to do. But it's so cool to tell stories that affect so many people's lives and to have that big of an audience is just so special. Any chance we can get some more Superman this season? We love Tyler. Uh, when he's available. We'd love to have him back the story takes us there. Go ahead. We were talking to Mashad. Uh, what would it take to get a Guardian spinoff? Uh, last right now he's in, he's sound super girl. We're not giving him off. He's stuck with us. <laughs> he's stuck with us. Yeah. For now. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.